Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? Okay, I'm gonna get this puppy started. I'm gonna do some funky curls with you today using this hair wand right here. This is the tapered wand. I am obsessed. It's gonna make the funnest curls a lot different of a curl than what you get just by using a hair wand that is all the exact same width. So, funky curls with you today. We're bringing this out right now. Let's rock this baby out while it heads up. All right, my skin is still a mess. You might not know this. Instagram people know this. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you better follow me over there, jocelyn.mcclellan. I'll give the link below of how you can find me. But I got micro needling done. Have you ever heard of that? And it does take a little bit of time to get your skin to not be peeling. But I put a product on that made my skin peel even more, like I was doing good. And then my skin, and I should not have put the product on it that I put on it. It was not ready for it. So we got some good peelage going on. So if you see anything you don't like, just uh, forget about it and we'll take care of it in the next couple days. Anyways, I'm gonna do this tutorial with you right now. So the things that I have in my hair, I actually have a blow drying tutorial that is super, super helpful. See all this volume that I have? This is attributed to putting product in my hair before I blow dry. So when everybody says, I don't get the curl you get, I'm like, what are you putting in your hair before you blow dry? Cause that is to achieve the volume, the texture, the care, that's huge. So I do put in glazed hair lotion, whip mousse, salt and sea spray. And I do, when my hair's super dry, cause we're in a drier season, then I will put a oil in with this guy right here. So that's gonna show in my blow drying tutorial, which you can watch that one next if you haven't watched it. So before I blow dry though, I am gonna put a thermal protectant in my hair. You can also, thermal protect protectants are like different. You can get them in your hair before you blow dry too. In fact, this one, I like to put in my hair while I'm curling, but this one you could even put in your hair um, before you blow dry as well. Too. I just didn't. You can actually even probably do this instead of this oil because it is, it isn't, it has oil to it. Against thermal damage as it polishes the hair for brilliant shine while sealing frayed and frizzy ends. Help reduce drying time. So yeah, put this in your hair before you blow dry. Like drying time, hello. I'm gonna start using it that way more. I think I've done it a couple times, but it just wasn't in the bathroom when I, moved on and needed it so uh yeah okay so it's kind of boring when you watch me with my hair wand in the beginning part so i'll probably speed through this part but i'm just taking the wand here is one key thing for you to do um, with your curls so one of two things here's a tip for you you can go in and create a messy curl by only holding this in your hair for a couple seconds. So the longer that you hold this in your hair, if you're just wanting something loose, it's literally gonna be like five seconds, right? To just kind of create that wave. And if you want something to last a little bit longer, we're gonna go more for like 12 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and then pull it out. So there is definitely a difference in the hair. So that's something to remember with what you're wanting to create with your fun, funky curls is if you're going to keep them just a looser one or a tighter one, depending on what you want. And that's what you need to remember with every hair tool that you use. Um, I would not stay in for too long and I would not hold like a tool in your hair for very long, especially if you're turned up too high. So make sure that I might have mine at 410 and um, that seems to work really, really good for my hair. We're gonna go to this other side and I'm just gonna speed this up until we get higher on in the hair and then we'll come back and chit chat because you can't really tell that much is going on when it's, um, when we're on these lower parts. But I'm using a tapered wand from Lange. Um, I love their hair tools. This one is actually in a family of five. So it comes with five wands and they're all, they're all like, one of them's really fun and funky um, and it makes some really fun 
curls as well. And then the other ones are your regular 19 millimeter, 25 millimeter, and 32 millimeter. So let's just rock this on out. Okay, we are getting closer to these top curls. So you just wanna use a little bit. I do know there's different products out there that have something kind of like this posh product, but I really do like this one of how smooth it can make my curls. So I'm gonna go in now that I'm up higher and really fine tune these curls. So I am gonna leave this in here because today we're not going, we're going with funky curls, but I still want them to have a good curl and not too loose. Um, in fact, I might even kind of go in between the two. Some of them I'll make it stay in there a little bit longer and then some of them I'll have stay in there a little bit shorter. But so when you bring it out, like look at what that does. So these, these ones are without it and this one is with it and see how just clean it is. Like these ones I didn't leave in for very long. Look how clean those girls are. So um, you definitely have to make sure that you hardly use any product, but I'm getting right at that root at the smaller end of the tapered wand. And then I'm gonna come around here and um, this is getting bigger as it comes down here. And then we're gonna hold it in there for about that, tw that 12 second range and try and get those nice fun curls with using this Posh product. Um, again, if you have something like it, I think Redken, no, it's not Redken. There's another product that has something kind of like it, but I like this one and I find myself pulling for it more often anyways. Okay, so we're gonna put that on there and just create a nice sleek look using these funky curls. And you're gonna see as it goes on. So I've been asked about um, when people have been seeing me lately have this curl, like, hey, what, what, what are you doing to your hair to get it to do that? This is the tool that I love to use as um, when I'm trying to get that fun, funky curl going on. All right, we're gonna get this in. And I got a little too much, so don't, don't settle. Like, just be prepared to put it through other hair. Like, never put on tons of product. Okay, and we'll let that go. They're so clean. Like even if it's a looser curl, it's so clean. So we're getting there about eight seconds. And then when I pull it out, I'll let it just come out loose and then twirl it back around. Okay, so we just wanna keep it in within that curl. Moving into the back. This one doesn't have very much of that on it, so we're gonna see kind of the difference between the two. Okay, just checking to see if I missed some pieces, and I did. So we just go back on through. All right, we're almost done with this, so I'm gonna decide if I want a side part, a middle part, whatever part, that's gonna be the next step that we do. So, Keep that, look at that one, that one's so good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right. Get some in the back. Put 
put a little bit of this on. Keep it nice and slick. Okay, and I'm gonna make sure I get up to that root so I'm building up that volume right there. But as I go forward, since I'm getting to the top, as I go more forward, I'm gonna be going down lower and lower and lower because I don't wanna have that bump and that bubble towards the front that that volume gives you right there. So you'll see me that this is like a huge thing that's gonna make a difference for your hair uh, curls with your looks is now I'm gonna go a little further down and not start so close up to the root. Whoopsies. And that's gonna make a huge difference with that. Because we want the volume in the back, right? You wanna have the voluminous hair, but we wanna be a little more careful with our placement and with what we do. So that you'll see is now nice and slick. And then this front piece, we're gonna do about mid shaft down and not all the way up to the root. And the reason why is when it's up at that root, it just, this helps create a more fair faucet look. Don't you love that? So using the, your, um, getting these curls with your hair makes a huge difference with placement. See how it went from higher down to lower and then it's helped pulling that back. That's what we want. Okay, I am going to do this section right here and then the rest I'm actually gonna do over, oh my lands, the rest I'm gonna do over, okay, I got too much. So I'm gonna come in to this end and then I'm going to go in with this part like so. Okay, there we go right here into this back section. And then we're almost done. We're almost all the way through this and can be done with our curls. So of course we're going up to the root on this one because we want to get as much volume up there as we can. And then this one we're going about mid shaft um, down. And then you can wrap as much as you want on the ends or leave out as much as you want on the ends. Okay, and then on this side, when I come over, you have a couple different options. If you're curling your hair and you curl it this way and you go backwards, if you were to flip it over, it's actually gonna look like it's now curling forwards instead of back. So that's why it's so important to pay attention to where you want that to go and what you wanna do. So we can have this look um, like that or center. So I'm gonna show, well, it's not quite center. One time I said that this was center and I got a ton of grief from people. <laughs> and we don't want that. So we're a little off from center, but I'm going to build this up. So we're gonna go mid shaft back. I'm gonna hold that there for like that 12 seconds. And then we're going to just keep building it higher the further back we go. Okay, almost done. That one was not very tight, so what do I wanna do with it? Do I wanna make it tighter? All right, almost done. Just gonna get the back. Okay, I'll get the back and then I'll come, and then I'll come right back. All right, we have everything curled, so we wanna get the funky part of it right, and these don't, these, are how the curls go and why this is so fun, especially if you're leaving it where they stay in less, is this isn't, if, if I were to compare this to a normal hair wand that's the same exact size throughout it, it is different. So I'm actually going to take this Stardust, this, this powder. This is a, um, you can do different texturizers, but this one is a dry shampoo powder. So I'm actually gonna take this and I'm gonna place some of it in my hands and I'm gonna come up into my root, and at my root, I'm gonna separate things out. So we're just, one, this is helping us build volume, and the reason why I'm putting it into my hair, or my hand and not my hair, is because I want it to really separate up, up at that root, and if I lift all of this up, it's harder to get into there. I don't want it to separate because I separated the curls. I just want it to separate because I have this powder in my hand. Look how fun these are though. Look at the difference in the two. 
So it really takes that curl and makes it so fun, so funky, and the sizing isn't the same with every curl, which is also gonna help give you a little bit more volume because they're not the same, they're tighter, looser, how they pull. It's so, so cool. So I'm gonna do that to this other side as well. And this is actually helping it not need the dry shampoo as quickly too, because this is a dry shampoo and it's getting stuck in my ring. <laughs> and we're coming throughout. How fun is that? Isn't this awesome? Now I'll do it in the back. Okay, I don't know if I missed spots or how the curls look, but I still wanna show you the back, even if I did miss some areas. I'll go through and make sure that it's fine. But I'm gonna separate this out turning that baby off and I'm gonna end this with one final product that I love so much. So since we don't do anything with the ends, I have a pomade. You want a pomade that isn't, doesn't have too much moisture in it, has a little bit of texture. I don't get the, like the super textury pomades because they are very sandy feeling and I like those more from up, for up in here. But this one is really good that I can just pull and see the difference in that now, that it just really finishes out these ends so they're not so crazy. And this one, I don't get it to my root, but this one's also really good at taming the flyaways. And controlling that. I just love the tapered wand. That is my favorite hair wand. Like, without a doubt, my favorite hair wand. There's other ones that I like to use too, but if I ever quiz you <laughs> with what is Jocelyn's favorite hair wand, it is gonna be the tapered wand. It is just so fun, it's so reliable. Every time I use it, people ask what I did to my hair because it gives such a different curl than what an other hair tool, um, could give, another wand could give. And it really is just a fun, fun curl. So there you go, there is your funky hair curls. Using this hair wand, you're going to master this. You're gonna have so much fun with it. Always remember to create more volume in your hair. Instead of working with it with the hair tool on the same side as your curling, you're gonna go up and over and then curl with that wand. You're going to love this hair curl. If you want to ever try it, please send me a picture. I would love to see it. Send me a photo, you can send it to jocelyn.mcclellan over on Instagram, that's my handle. Then you can find me on Facebook at Fit Mission Makeup with Jocelyn McClellan there. Um, you can go to my website, you can watch some of my um, makeup tutorials, you can check out more things with hair. I am gonna be chopping off my hair. And so you'll be able to see that here soon too, but make sure you subscribe and we will see you next time.